Hi there, me, your friendly neighborhood humble circus Salter. So we're going to do another response to comments and questions. So first off, let me just recognize we've gotten to 95 subscribers. So that's the largest uptick I've had in subscription rates in a while. So about a month ago, I was in the 70-ish range, and I've gained, I think, 23 subscribers in the past 30 days. I haven't checked my analytics lately, but it'll tell me definitively, but I'm just going to guess 23. 23 works, okay? So the number's 23. So let me just, again, thank you that have taken the time to subscribe to the channel. Thank you for those that have taken the time to watch my content. Uh, and again, thank you for those that have taken the time to comment on the videos. One second, while I clean the spectacles. So, done some videos over the last month. One of them was a response video. Actually, I've done a couple of response videos directly because of um, either subscriber or commenter suggestions or subscriber and or commenter commenter um, requests so basically let's just talk about some of the the content we've generated and then we'll go through and just thank those that have taken the time to join so one of my uh, subscribers asked about statin based drugs so I did a response video directly to statin based drugs and depression I will leave the comment and down below a link about that and Joy Bradford you made a comment on that video uh, you said I hope you don't take adv uh, any advice from anyone except your doctors I know about depression and what worked for me and what didn't I hope you're doing well my friend well yes Joy I'm doing amazing well um, amazingly well fortunately not so good in the speaks right um, let me just say this I will take advice from people yes I will however I will not make a decision based off of advice alone. Uh, so every time I've had to make a decision about sort of what I intend to do, uh, medically speaking, after my stroke, I have done my own independent research on the internets. I've done research with uh, friends or family members that are knowledgeable, uh, such as I have an aunt, actually two of my aunts are nurses. Uh, my girlfriend is currently finishing up her master's in counseling psychology. Uh, I have discussed things with either my physiotherapist, things with my occupational therapist, things with my um, psychotherapist, um, you know, people that, ha that have qualifications. Like, so I'm not just getting some random opinion. So when it comes to making decisions, I will listen to advice from almost anyone. As soon as that person's advice turns out to be not relevant or uninformed, I'll, I'll stop listening, right? So at that point, you know, I, I will listen to the advice. I won't necessarily use the advice in part of my decision making. Uh, I will do some research and then use that as part of my decision making, right? So then I've done, uh, then, this stroke will not define me. Again, three weeks ago, you left a comment about one of my post-stroke fatigue videos, and you asked, does it end because it's maddening? You know what? You're right. Post-stroke fatigue is absolutely maddening. Post-stroke fatigue is absolutely debilitating. Post-stroke fatigue is frustrating. It's difficult. Like, just think of an adjective you can use, and that is post-stroke fatigue. Post-stroke fatigue... I did a response video to your question. Actually, I did a couple. I did one about managing post-stroke fatigue, and I did another one about how long does it last. So thank you for giving me some inspiration for generating some content, and I hope the video I did on uh, post-stroke fatigue, how long does it last, which I'll leave a link down below, and post-stroke fatigue uh, managing it. Again, I'll leave the link down below. Uh, let me know if you like those videos. Let me know if those videos have worked well for you. Uh, in regards to the managing post-stroke fatigue, uh, one of my subscribers, or at least I believe you're a subscriber, me, you, you are stroke folk, or you're a brain injured folk. I don't know which, but you said, wow, finally someone understands, and you gave me a whole bunch of fist bumps. Well, I do understand, uh, and you watched the video on managing post-stroke fatigue. So if you feel comfortable enough to leave a comment about what works for you, what have you used either that's listed in the video or other things you found that's helpful for you managing your post-stroke fatigue?
right? Because let's face it, not every technique is going to work for everyone. So post-stroke fatigue is so unique in and of itself. Not everyone's going to be able to manage post-stroke fatigue the same way. Not everyone's post-stroke fatigue will present the same way or develop the same way or maintain the same way. Uh, Khalid Musa, you left a comment a couple weeks ago about um, the video I did about post-stroke depression. You said, man, I'm suffering from the depression thing a lot. You know what? Unfortunately, in a post-stroke or post-brain injured world, it's a thing. Right? There's so many reasons why depression can develop. Uh, forgiving the fact you have brain damage. Right? You could have depression just because of the brain damage. Right? You could have um, depression because there's been a drastic change in your life circumstance, life situation. You could have, you know, there's so many reasons why you could have depression. And then you said something that was, I, I thank you, and it's a huge compliment. Listening to you gives me uh, relief, kind of. Today I got a supplement called, I can't pronounce that, I'm not even going to try uh, and you said you hope it's going to work. Um, thinking of using two new top new tropics as well. So I'm going to do some research on those, and I will do a video uh, about what you suggested. Right? Um, I will look them up definitely. And you know what? I'm really glad uh, that yourself, uh, this stroke will not define me. Uh, the other person by the name of uh, me, you, you've all you're all part of the post-stroke world, so you're stroke folk, um, and you found my content. You've enjoyed the content and it has hit a note with you. And that's kind of where the channel is starting to, to make a turn. Because I'm almost one year post-stroke. So the, the channel will still contain sort of a vlog about my post-stroke journey and occasionally crash the Wonderbird. But it's also going to morph into more of an educational piece. More um, getting the message out there about what it's like to live. Uh, and manage and maintain yourself in a post-stroke, post-brain injury world. Now, I want to mention a name, and you left a comment on my video, and we've had a brief sort of uh, exchange on the video I did about the negative impact of toxic positivity, right? So your name is, I just have to close up here, Sema, and I'm not even going to try to pronounce your last name. <laughs> not even going to, right? Um, I agree, I feel very validated in this video. Uh, with all these spiritual approaches, make it even worse. Do you think it's po possible to make an emotional connection with a dear one who's not able to validate and insists on positive spiritual approaches? On uh, my experience, it's best regards from Belgium. Hey, nice to see you from Belgium, uh, and thanks a lot for the video. And that was on the negative impact of toxic positivity. I'll leave the link again for that video down below for those of you that haven't seen it. Now we have gone and have a further exchange about what do you mean by spiritual you're not talking so much religious but some of these self-help gurus in your case it was Eckhart Tolle I've watched some of his content I'm working on a video um, yeah I've watched some of his content don't know how to reply to it just yet uh, because I, it's not my intent nor my design to put my foot into the theist atheist debate circles yes i watch some of the theist atheist debate channels some of it's interesting because i do enjoy good discourse i enjoy listening to a a well maintained argument right an argument meaning debate discussion right so i'm i'm not intending to to put my foot into that well uh, I'm not practicing any religion currently. Uh, I have not practiced any religion in a good number of years. Uh, I was baptized in the United Church of Canada. I went to a scout group in the Anglican Church, and I took communion in the Presbyterian Church of Canada. So I'm kind of the dog's breakfast of Presbyterian, Anglican, United. So... Um, yeah, so I don't mean to stick my foot into any one realm, right? And so I'm just going to say that right now, 
right? It, it's not my intent to engage in the um, theist, atheist, you know, debate cycle. It's not my not my bailiwick, not what this channel is intended for. Uh, that being said, there are some channels that I do enjoy watching, and I have watched uh, from time to time uh, and have commented on that uh, dip into that circle, but it's not sort of where I intend to be. Now let's just talk about some of the recent subscribers. Right, so let me just pull up my phones here. So I have a new subscriber from four days ago, Victor Warrior. Thank you, Victor, for joining our married little man. Uh, it's, you know, I'm not sure how you found us, but I'm glad you did. Uh, Godless Journey, you joined six days ago. Thank you. Um, Second here, Kanye seven nine. You joined uh, a couple weeks ago. Again, thank you. Uh, me, you again. Thank you for being part of our merry little band. JJ seven one hope again. Hi there, JJ seven one hope. I see you joined back on May eighth. Sam and Hewage, you made a comment about uh, on May third. You made a comment about. Uh, stroke recovery timelines, right? So, and you said, excellent summary. I'm a stroke survivor is going on the seventh month. Very inspiring. Thanks. Well, again, thank you for joining the channel for one. Thank you for finding the channel and thank you for enjoying and leaving a comment. And when it comes to stroke recovery timelines, I've done a couple of videos on stroke recovery, on goal setting after a stroke. I've recently finally gotten around to updating with a bunch of playlist options. So you will find uh, a couple new playlists. Uh, there is one called Rants. I'm gonna warn you right now, if you watch anything in the Rants selections, children shouldn't be within 3.2 kilometers of that device, because I say really bad things on the internet. Just putting that out there. Um, I'm creating rant, uh, playlists. I got the Rants, post-stroke fatigue, uh, po stroke and mental health, uh, there's letters of the alphabet. I'm just working on re-establishing that series. Um, I've got one that's my journey specifically, so it's like my week one, week two, uh, you know, the the three month after stroke, five month after stroke. I'm going to do another one on my return to work journey, so that way, if you're looking for something, you can find it more uh, more quickly in some of the playlists. One sec. And then if we go back to April, Pamela Morgan Mitchell, again, thank you for joining. G Blues Man, how you doing? Hope you're well. Um, so again, if you want to contact me, I now have uh, Twitter. Twitter link is in the description down below. And my email is strokeassaulter at gmail.com. I say again, my email is strokeassaulter at gmail.com. So if anyone here uh, wants you wants to get in contact with me, you can reach me either on the Twitter, uh, or you can follow me on Twitter, or you can reach me on the emails. So again, I just like to thank everyone that's taken the time to join in the last little while. We've had the largest uptick uh, in the last month of subscription rates. People have joined. I'm not sure how you find people have all found me, and I'll be honest about that. I'm not sure how you all have, have taken the time to find me, but again, I, I'm glad you have. If there's something you would like to see me cover, a uh, topic that you would like me to do a little bit of research on, and you'd like me to do a video about, please email me at strokeassaulter at gmail.com, and we can have a conversation there. You can always leave a comment in the comment section down below, or you can always now reach out to me on Twitter. So... Just like to say, again, Joy Bradford, thank you for being a regular commenter. Uh, got some other folk that I haven't heard from a while, and I'm just wondering how you all are. So, one sec. And I made a list, but apparently I forgot to save it, and I'm sorry. So, Ashley, oh, sorry, Ashley, how are you doing? Uh, Beth G, how are you today, Beth G? Uh, and a few other folk out there, I'm sorry if I've forgotten, because I thought I made a list, but I apparently didn't. So, I'm sorry. It's a stroke thing. I'm a man. It's genetic. I got brain damage. It happens. I forget things. 
So on that note, if you haven't liked, we've been watching over the past uh, 11 months, please like, share, subscribe, point the channel out to your friends and family. If you know someone going through a post-stroke journey, please like, share, subscribe with that person. Point that person who's going through their own post-stroke journey. Point the channel at someone who's supporting someone going through a post-stroke journey. Uh, and if there's something you'd like to see me cover in content or a topic you'd like to see discussed, please, uh, again, email me at strokeassaulter at gmail.com. Get in contact with me on Twitter. Uh, or you can just leave a comment down below. And at that point, I'll definitely take the time to do the research on the video and, and make some content generated about it. Uh, in regards to Eckhart Tolle, yes, I am going to be doing a video about that type of spirituality, definitely. Uh, in regards to Khalid, the medication and, and supplements you suggested, I will do some research about those and I will do a video about those. Uh, I'm working on some other videos. I'll be doing a video on... Uh, relationships after stroke because um, I've seen a lot of comments on the stroke groups I belong to on Facebook about their relationships with their significant other seem to just turn to shit after a stroke um, luckily that's not me uh, I'm, thankfully that's not me I'm extremely lucky that way but I see a lot of people making comments that the relationship they had with someone has just turned into just a nightmare. Uh, I'm also going to be working on some other videos that I'm currently doing a, a bunch of research about, and then I'll get those up and loaded. I'm going to try to continue, or sorry, sorry, I'm not going to, I am going to continue the Wednesday, Friday. And at that point, uh, if you happen to see either in yourself or someone around you, the signs or symptoms of a stroke, that being someone who appears to be immediately befuddled, confused, or has a lack of balance, Someone who has vision problems, they see in grayscale, they can only see with one eye, they can't move their eyes in a certain direction, they only see a little dot out of the world. Uh, someone who has facial droop, there's a noticeable slacking of the facial, facial muscles. Someone who can't raise both arms equally effectively or at all. Someone who has, can't raise both arms equally effectively or at all. Someone who can't smile equally effectively or at all. Someone who has slurred, stuttering speech, inappropriate word usage for situation or context. Someone who has general body weakness, weakness on one side, has an inability to stand unaided. Please immediately place that person in a position of comfort and dial 911. Something so simple can save a life.